embrace the possibilities. Let's make the future for a 360 film. I think we should do our cities and buildings differently. This is my message. Think. Development for me means increase in complexity. It's a simple addition for a designer, but it saves a lot of time and practice. I used to rest it, it's not so clever. So this could be interesting for you as well. see them sailing on a nice day, but they also like going to riverside bars. They like going to the riverside bars and restaurants where they can watch the world go by and relax, have a nice day. They like getting up there, but there's, there's a problem they have. They like their yacht and they can't get there because of that. That's the problem. There's 15 of them up to the tents. And that marina is right at the bottom of the tents, so they have a severe problem. They can't get there, they're only a five meter air draft, and their air draft is about eight meters, so there's a big problem for Alec and Mary, the sailors. They've thought about this idea, but this was just uh, too risky. It wasn't a good option. They did the risk analysis, it wasn't good. So, what do you do with this thing? Well, I suppose you need to look for outside help. And here we have Ingvald, Ingvald the inventor. And he's from way up north. And his motto was, they're nothing cast in stone. So he never thought about the present. He always thinking about the future, how we can solve problems, problems that's worldwide. So Ingvald, he looked at his fold away mass system. He thought this, Yachts here, there's about 200,000 of these types of yachts in Europe. And he thought, well, this to be system that can be operated by a single person very easily. It has to be able to fold away a freestanding mast and be able to be lowered and raised. A lot of things to consider. You have to consider stability. You don't want too much top weight and extra weight to the deck level. So the fold away mast system has to be a lightweight material, very lightweight and easily uh, fitted, it would be retrofitted. So it fits on any type of boat with the correct mass system. <laughs> this is the problems. He needed to think of all, all the issues. He had to think about his sail areas and writing moments, do all the calculations, check on the loads, and do all his calculations before he could come with getting towards his final uh, plan. Compatibility was another problem. Yachts are built from fiberglass and lightweight materials. He'd have to come with a similar material for his masters. It couldn't be made from metal or steel or heavy. So it has to be compatible materials to fit with the, the yacht itself. Aesthetics is a, prod, is a very important thing in the yachting industry. Beautiful yacht, good look, style. Everybody wants to see you. And you can't have an obstruction around the forehead of the mast either. It needs to be clear, it needs to be able to pass around. So that's another difficulty that Ingvald, the inventor, had. And this one, the performance of the yacht, it has to be able to sail to win, to beat everybody else. But of course, you can't have everything. You need to compromise. So Ingvald had to compromise. He had to come up with ideas that could fit for everything and come up with a solution that was a compromise of everything. And this is where he was at, a starry night up north. And that's his shape there down at the bottom, Ingvald's shape. He's sitting there working every night, way late, trying to come up with a solution. Then how can he take this forward? How can he get interest in his idea? How can he get big players on board? Boom! The Eureka moment. Ingvald, the comes with his Eureka moment. He's come with an idea that's getting there, getting very close to it. He's, he's getting near his, where he has a fallaway mass system that can have a global market. That's what he's after. And this is him. His first demonstration of a fallaway mass system that's made from aluminium, very heavy and rugged, that shows the mechanics of a system, shows how it can work, shows that it's a real thing, not a computer-aided design image. It's actually a thing. 
So now we have it. He solved the problem globally. This is Chicago, downtown Chicago. There's 27 bridges there that have to be raised and lowered to let all these yachts up and down. And it brings up the traffic to a standstill. There's a big problem. And Ingvald has come with a solution to that problem. There'll be take, people that will take up in it. Also far north, you have to take the masts from the, the yachts. They can't be there all winter because the wear and tear of the wind. And they have to remove, remove the masts. So he solved that problem as well. All from the work that he was doing in the shade. There you go. There's another one hanging in the rigging. Ingvald's mast system folded to the deck level. So there's no need for any of that. You can do it at your leisure. Just fold the mast down, repair and maintain your mast and your rigging as you like. So he's come. There are a lot of things that he solved. He also solved this problem. This is transportation. It could take a long time, the rescue business, taking down the mast and getting it folded away. But his mast system could be done in the same time that it takes you to lower and raise your sail. Ingvald's mast system could lower and raise the mast. So trailer sailing became much more popular. And that one, we love saving money. The leisure industry, people want to get value for their money. If you had a marina that was a little bit farther up beyond the bridges you'd like to use, Ingvald's fold away mast system. Use that, you can get there and go back down. You don't need to pay the extra marina charges. And here we have Mary and Alec. Look at that. Pleasure at last from a nice weekend sailing back home. That's it. Thank you very much. <laughs>